Hi friends, this is Rahul Jain and in today's video we are going to discuss earnings per share or EPS and PE ratio, price to earnings ratio. If I ask you company A has made 100 crores of net profit and company B has made 500 crores of net profit, which company has generated more profits for its shareholders? What would you say? If your answer is company B, it's a good time to learn about a very important concept of earnings per share, EPS. What is EPS? EPS is equal to net profits minus preferred dividends divided by the number of common shares outstanding. So for example, if a company generates 100 crores of net profit at the end of a fiscal year, distributed two crores of preferred dividends and had one crore of outstanding shares at the end of fiscal year, company's EPS will be 100 crores minus two crores divided by one crore equals to 98. Now coming back to our examples, if company A has generated 100 crores of net profit, distributed two crores of preferred dividends and had one crores of outstanding shares at the end of fiscal year, company's EPS will be 98. Now, if company B has generated rupees 500 crores of net profit, distributed rupees 2 crores of preferred dividends and had 10 crores of outstanding shares at the end of fiscal year, company's EPS will be rupees 500 crores minus rupees 2 crores divided by 10 crores equals to 49.8 EPS. So although company B generated five times more profits, but if we look at profit per share, it generated almost half the profit per share than company A. So in this example, company A generated more value for its shareholders. Now comes the practical use of EPS in valuations of stocks. Let me introduce the concept of PE ratio, which helps us gain important insight into the valuation of a stock. PE ratio is calculated as current price of the share divided by EPS. Let's say company A's current share price is 100 rupees and EPS is 5 rupees. So the PE ratio will be 100 divided by 5 equals to 20. Now consider company B, which has current share price equals to 100 rupees and EPS is 20 rupees. So the PE will be 100 divided by 20 equals to 5. In this example, both companies are trading at the same price, that is 100 rupees per share, but the PE ratio of company A is much higher than that of company B. This means that the stock of company A is relatively more expensive than the stock of company B. In this way, by comparing PE ratios of stocks, you can compare relative valuations of different stocks. That's all for today's video. Hope you have understood the concepts of earning per share and price earning ratio. See you in the next one. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.